Thank you, Sister Francine. Thank you, Sister Francine. Mm -hmm. Could I call you Mother Francine? <laughs> you are Mother, aren't you? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank God for... Uh, thank God that God prepared me for this years ago, yes. you know, <laughs> um, so that I can come up there and, um, and on this holy sanctified day yes. Uh, yes. of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. and speak, not on his behalf, but uh, speak good things about him. Yes. That's what it's all about. Yes. Yes. That's what it's all about. Yes. Yes. And, uh, this is as well, we can relate uh, this situation, not necessarily to our, his exact situation to ourselves, <coughs> but the, some of the things that he went through in, in, uh, in principle. Yes. Um, Jesus suffered. Yes. Suffered more than anybody else could suffer. Yes. One of the lessons that he wants us to learn is to have forgiveness. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. To amen. pardon. Yes. Um, yes. And most of all, and it says it in the scripture, above all, love. Yes. Yes. And above all, love. Yes. And that's not an easy thing to do. Um, the reason why I said that we can relate to what he's going through, I know I can, because um, I'm not going to make it about me this morning. Uh, I went through something this morning and kind of turn my head around. Mm. But I know that what God wants me to do is above all to love. Yes. So Sister yes. Francine, for you to give me, <laughs> for Joseph not to be here and for you to give me this, I guess like in the scripture, this is being fulfilled. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Thank you, you know, the works are being fulfilled today. Amen. And um, that's, the, that's the, one of the main points I want to make about um, the assignment that's been given to me today. Amen. Okay. Um, my assignment was the fifth words that um, Jesus um, uttered from his mouth, and it was, I thirst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who? Mm -hmm. Who, in their right mind in the day that we live in today, any of us, are thirsting for their punishment? Go ahead now. Thirsting for the fulfillment of a prophecy. Go ahead. When it involves a punishment, especially if it's something that that we're being falsely accused of. Yes. Amen. Who? Which? Any of us? Can any of us do that? No. No. You know that's what makes it so special about what Jesus went through. Amen. You know it. it, it it's um. And 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 uh, that brings me to this point that um I want to make. I'm going to go back to um. Luke. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me first read. I'm all nervous now. I can't even find yes. it in the book. <laughs> uh, in the Bible. Um, let me first read the scripture that I, that I was assigned for today. And it comes out of um, John, verse, I mean, chapter 19, verses 20 to 29. Yeah, yeah. It says, after this, verse 28, after this, Knowing, <clears throat> knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said, I thirst. Amen. Uh, okay. Um, verse 29. Now a vessel full of sour wine, some... Uh, uh, Bible's description might read um, vinegar. wine vinegar, right? Which uh, I'm just give a little reference back to that from what I've learned is that it's um, it it when it touches the blood, it's not meant to be something good. It's meant to be they're intending it to be further punishment, mm -hmm. as if the crucifixion wasn't enough, you know. So they they, they they're getting enjoyment out of this. Um, so this is now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there and they filled it with a sponge. They filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on high sop, and put it to his mouth. Mm -hmm. Simply because Jesus uttered, I thirst. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to refer back to um, Luke. 
chapter 22, verses 41 to 46. Um, this is the time when um, uh, Jesus was, was coming to realize that the scripture and the prophecy was going to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Where he knew that he had to uh, be crucified. He's facing the punishment that, that's coming his way. Yes. And like I said earlier, which one of us is willing to uh, face a, a punishment that we are not guilty of? Amen. You know, that takes a lot. Um, so, what Jesus did was, he went into prayer. Yeah. He, he, he went. Um, he went away from everybody. Yeah. You know, like we should do, pray in private. Yes. And he prayed, and this is where he got his strength from. Verse forty-one, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw. He was talk talking about the disciples that yes. were with him. Yes. Okay. And he was drawn with drawn, and he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw. And he knelt down and prayed. Verse 42. Saying, Father, it is your will. If it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will be done, but yours yes. be done. Yes. And I don't want to end there, but I want to uh, um, emphasize that scripture. Because this is him. You know, preparing himself and saying, God, you know, if, it, if it's your will, take this punishment away from me. Um, well, actually, he was asking that would be his will. Yes. But God, if it be your will, take it away. If not, then let the prophecy Amen. be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And um, this is the thirst that he's talking about. Um, once he's up on a, um, on a, on a, I'm sorry. Once he's up on a on a crucifix, mm -hmm. this is yes. this is the thirst that he's talking about. Yes. And it's not that he's yes. and it's yes. not that he's um, trying to rush it, but what he's saying is, God, I trust you. Yes. I know you have something for me and for them. I know that you're doing this for a reason. Mm -hmm. This is the main reason you sent me here. And this is one of the things that we have to come to grips with within ourselves mm -hmm. when we are faced. Yes. With situations, you know, like I said, I went through a situation this morning. I didn't feel like I deserved it, but it's, it's here. It's nonetheless, thank God, God prepared me for that with other things, yes. you know, along the way. Yes. So I, it, um, um, I, I feel blessed. Yes. You know, I'm not too happy that it happens, but I feel blessed. Yes. You know, um, and I and I can relate to that to what's going on. I just want to read a little further. Scripture um 44 says, and being in agony, I'm sorry. 43, it says, Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. 44, And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. Mm. 45, When he rose up from prayer and had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Jesus. Mm. In times of sorrow, they, they, they slept. Mm -hmm. That what we do sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're so stressed out, we sleep. Yes. But Jesus is going to give them an instruction. He yes. says, Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise up and pray. Mm. Yes. So, when that's the good thing about the, the gospel as opposed to the um, 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 New Testament. Yeah. You know, the, I mean, the Old Testament. Amen. You know, the New Testament, the gospel gives you. I like the instruction that it gives. Yes. You know, it constantly yes. repeats itself. Yes. It's, it's, it's good instruction, yes. and it's all about Jesus. Yes. You know, and this is these are the Christ things. These are the Christ-like ways that we should learn to be. Yes. Yes. You know, and remember to be. You know, when we are faced with certain situations. Yes. So, um, uh, I thank Jesus for uh, for what He's done for us today. And when Amen. He says, "I thirst," I totally understand what He's talking about. Amen. 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 Amen.